time to look back at the tape from the Bills' win over the Dolphins with our good friend Eric Wood. A eh, wasn't pretty, but the Bills got the job done. What stood out to you? Yeah, everybody thought this was going to be a lopsided Bills win, and early on, that's what it looked like. Josh made some great first quarter throws and was punishing the cover zero blitz that the Dolphins were bringing. Because of the pressure and, and the constant pressure, the Bills made some mistakes couple turnovers in the second quarter and this got to be a tight ball game but the offense caught some rhythm in the second half Gabe Davis made some really nice catches the Bills were able to build a 10-point lead and ultimately put the Dolphins away for the win well let's get started with that first touchdown drive Josh connected with Stefan Diggs for 52 on a third and 15 what'd you see on this one yeah, last week the Bills did a, a similar thing uh, against the Patriots, converting a third and long, going deep to Diggs. Here the Dolphins bring cover zero blitz. Devin Singletary steps up, and he's able to get just enough of the blitzing secondary player for the Dolphins. Josh hangs in the pocket, and then he delivers this ball as Steph Diggs is just running right past Xavier Howard. And this ball travels a little over 60 yards in the air, and he drops it into a bucket to get Diggs down to the five-yard line to set the Bills up for a score. And then on the next play, Josh found Dawson Knox for a six-yard touchdown, and what a dynamite catch this was. The Bills have been running the ball better in the red zone lately, so the Dolphins have to respect it here. It looks like outside zone to the left with Dawson Knox coming back across the formation to secure the right edge. But Dawson Knox is going to go into the flat, and he's not open. He's completely covered, so Josh keeps the play alive. And with the Dolphins linebacker with his head turned, to Josh Allen. Josh knows that this isn't a risky throw. He can give Dawson a chance here, and Josh puts it right over the left shoulder of Baker, the Dolphins linebacker, and Dawson knocks one hands it, gets two feet down, maybe a foot and a knee down uh, in order to get the score there. Then just before the half, Josh made a huge throw to Gabe Davis to set up a field goal. This one went for 33 yards. Yeah, the, the Bills have been the best in the league at scoring at the end of halves. So whether that's first half or second, they lead the league in scoring. Here, this is cover two by the Dolphins. They're trying to limit a big play with two deep safeties. And Gabe Davis takes an inside release on the corner. He'll stack them. And then there's always this hole shot right between the safety and the corner in this cover two defense. And as soon as Gabe gets in that zone, that's exactly where Josh knows where he wants to go with the football. It gives them a big gain on the first play of the drive. And then let's fast forward to the second half, and the Bills were trailing 24-20, and Kair Elam picked off Skylar Thompson to set up this Cole Beasley touchdown from six yards out. Take me through this play. Yeah, because of the motion and them putting Cole Beasley behind Diggs and Davis, they're not going to be able to get hands on Cole Beasley. And so you can't block ahead of a screen. So Diggs and Davis are both trying to release. They're not technically blocking here, or that's offensive PI. And so they release through the receivers, and Josh Allen delivers the ball quickly out to Cole Beasley, who because of his alignment in the stack defender behind the two defenders covering Diggs and Davis, he's able to score it into the end zone. And, and to me, this is a great play design, understanding that you're getting man-to-man -man defense and where you can manipulate that defender and the traffic he has to go through. Then on the next Bills possession, the Bills added to their lead with another great throw from Josh. This one went for 23 yards to Gabe Davis in the back corner of the end zone. What did you see here? So this is another cover two look. So this is that same hole shot that we talked about on the opposite side of the field. This is a different concept though. Davis is gonna make an inside release and Diggs is gonna hold that flat corner. He cannot sink because of Diggs alignment. And so then Davis is gonna put that safety in a bind and he's gonna release like he's gonna maybe run the post which is a vulnerable spot in the cover two defense as well, release back out into that hole shot. And then he is going to get his little toe drag swag, as my guy Nate Burleson would say, and, and get it in for the score here. Great stuff as always. Thanks, Eric. Really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure, Steve.